Hi, my name is Derek Baxter. I'm a professional musician, a music teacher. I teach at the London Music School. I'm here to talk to you about music. Hi, in this video we're going to discuss how to read music on a stave and uh, later explain those notes on a piano. First of all, all music is written on things called a stave, which is these five lines here. Um, sometimes called the staff, there's different terms, but usually called a stave. For, for the purpose of this, we're going to use the treble clef, which is for guitar, for vocals, for saxophones and this kind of thing, the right hand of the piano. And it's called the treble clef here. So the note names, which are on the stave, so contained on the lines and in the spaces, uh, are these ones here, E, G, B, D and F. Now some people use this, these terms here to try and remember these, which is every good boy deserves fun. So it's just a thing to try and remember initially until you get used to these note names, uh, or the names which are on the lines. Now the, the ones between, in the spaces between the lines, these are a bit easier because they actually spell face, F-A-C-E. Now the only, names, uh, the only uh, letters which are used in music is A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And the, it doesn't go any further in the alphabet, just there, and then it recurs again, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and so on. Um, so that, that's the notes contained within the stave. Now, obviously that's not enough notes for most things, so you go above and you go below. So when you go above or below, you have to use these little lines here, which are called ledger lines. They can be spelt like this as well, L-E-G-E-R or L-E-D-G-E-R. Um, and these extend the stave above the last line. So this note here, which carries on from F, you see we go through the alphabet, it'll be F-G. So F is your line. The next note sitting on top is G, and then after G comes A again, A, the next one in the first ledger line, on top of the first ledger line, B, the next ledger line, C, and then it would go on D, E, F, and so on, further up. Going down, because you're going backwards, you actually go reverse in the alphabet. So you would have E on the bottom line, then you would go back to D, then back to C, back to B, back to A as you go down. So that's how the, the notes are called on the stave. So the next thing is scales. So uh, the basic scale is the C major scale, which is the white notes on a piano. Um, so this would start here, as we've seen C is here. And we go C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. So you go through the alphabet, starting on C. So C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. So you go through again. And that would be all the white notes from, from C to C on the piano, and no black notes. Now, again, that's not enough notes. You need the notes in between, which are the black notes on the piano. And you get these because we've only got A, B, C, D, F, G. You get these using sharps and flats. Now a sharp is this sign, which raises a note up what's called a semitone. So it would go up to the next, very next note. And then a flat, which takes a note down a semitone to the very next note next to it. Um, so going through this list, C sharp, D flat, which is actually the same note. D sharp, E flat, same note. F sharp, G flat, the same note. G sharp, A flat, it's the same note. A sharp, B flat, is the same note. Uh, so now I'm gonna show you these on the piano. So if you look at uh, a piano keyboard, you'll see two black notes, three black notes, and this recurs all over the piano. It's just repeated two black notes, three black notes all the way down, all the way up. Now, if you look below the two black notes, the white note below, 
this is C. Everywhere on the keyboard, the white note below the two black notes together is C. So that C major scale would be from C to the next C up here, which are both the same note, different pitch. So C, the C major scale would be C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Now once you've got that, that's the same for the whole entire length of the keyboard, no matter how low or how high, it's the same. Now that, that's the C major scale. Now we spoke about the, the notes in between the sharps and the flats. So the first one is the C sharp here. Now this refers to if this note is sharpened, the C is sharpened, that becomes C sharp. Now if this note here, D, is flattened, then it goes down and it becomes the same note as D flat. This will depend on what key you're in, um, whether it's called a flat or a sharp. So, but it sounds like the same note whether you call it D flat or whether you call it C sharp. So the next one would be D sharp. So you've got D here, you put a sharp on it, becomes D sharp. Now if you've got E and you put a flat on it, it becomes E flat. So it goes down a semitone. Now you'll notice between E and F, there's no black note. And between B and C, there's no black note. This is because naturally occurring, occurring uh, formula for the scale is to go a tone, a tone, a semitone, tone, 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 semitone. So that's the formula for the C major scale and that's the way it's constructed. So the way it sounds is like that and so there's no black note in the middle here. So you don't really have an E sharp or an F flat, although technically you can, but E sharp would be F and F flat would be E. So it's not really another note, it's just taking the, the original note to a different note. This is called an enharmonic equivalent. Um, so then when you get to F and you go up a semitone to F sharp, or you come from G and go down a semitone to G flat, and then you go G to G sharp, and then A down a flat to A flat, A add a sharp, go to A sharp, or B, go down a flat to B flat. Now if you play all of those, instead of this being the C major scale, now if you play every single note between C and C, it becomes a chromatic scale, which means you're playing every single note. So every time you go to a different note, it's a semitone. You never skip one. As in a major scale, you skip one, and then here. So with this chromatic scale, you go C, C sharp, or D flat, D, D sharp, or E flat, E, F, no black note, F sharp, or G flat, G, or G sharp, or A flat, A, or A sharp, or B, oh that's B flat, or B, and then C. And that would be the chromatic scale. And that's every note on the keyboard from the bottom to the top is one of those notes, C, C sharp, D, E flat, and so on. Uh, there's no other notes hidden. There's, if you're a great player, you don't get any more notes than if you're a beginner. It's only those notes, and it's how you play them and how you read them and how well you read them that decide uh, how good a player you are. Well, hopefully that's helped you in uh, reading music notes. Obviously, practicing and reading music on a constant basis is the only way to get better at doing it.